just got done doing a class project, so I got a little bit of fake blood stained on my face. So that's fun. But also, I'm starting a, a new th series. May or may not include Luke and Jay sometimes, but I'm building stuff and putting it on YouTube.com. <clears throat> Episode one. This thing. So, so I'm going to be teaching you all how to make this now. Let's see how it works. How, how well. I'm having a stroke. Let's see how well it works. As you can see, it's very stable. Not much shake to it. You can do your blocks and shield stuff. Alright. <clears throat> Yeah, let's learn how to make it. One thing you can do to obtain that sweet, sweet rope that you gotta use, uh, it's paracord, just some sort of rope. I got this from Walmart. It's like clothesline or something. I don't remember. I got it when we biked to the neighboring town with Luke. So you gotta make sure it's untangled, because if it is, then obviously you can't use it. So... I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing that. Six and a half hours later. So you'll need some of this rope. Probably about like six or seven feet of it. Oh god, I thought there was a spider. It's a rubber band. And you're going to need a street sign. Um... funny story i got this with luke and jay so we biked to their grandparents house and to visit their grandparents they wanted me to meet their grandparents so we did and his grandpa was showing us some stuff out in the garage and he was like you boys want some signs and we were like yeah because at the time i had a tree house and we would we put them all up in my tree house and it was lit so, after the treehouse came down because of technical difficulties, I took the signs and started trying to do some cool stuff with it. So, I want to peel some of this loosey-goosey stuff off. Loosey-goosey. Okay, that's good enough. And then take your rope and... You gotta make sure, I don't know where you're gonna find a sign like this, audience, but here's how you're gonna do it. So you're gonna wanna take your rope, alright, through this end, and put it through that hole, alright? Now I'm going slow because I've tried to do DIY videos before and follow along. It's the hardest thing ever when they don't tell you what to do and go too fast. <clears throat> so you're gonna need to put it through twice. And it's coming out the front. And then, you're going to want to make sure you have a little bit of slack so you can tie that little boy. Oh, yeah. Nice and cozy. Cozy. Oh, right. So now you take this and wrap it around like that, and then put it through the hole, and pull it through. So it looks like that. And you're going to want to do that another time. So you have a little bit of stability on your first handle. Now, you go, jeez, this thing's long. 
Oh, wait. And you slip it. And you take your end and put it through the two of these. So it keeps them down. Alright. Looks okay, I guess. I gotta flip it again. Now that I know what I'm doing, you, you flip it again. And then wrap it around there one more time. You flip it again. And then wrap it around there one more time. It was at this point in time that I realized just how boring this video was. You do that. Oh, oh, okay, right, right, right. No, that's later. You do another one down here the same thing on the bottom end that you just did okay. and these are both going to be on the same side so just do it to a reversed angle Yeah, this is a bit of a boring video, but it's educational. In what way, you may be asking. Uh, I'm teaching you all something. Yo, little children, you're gonna learn how to make shields. Oh, that's not good. So the inside of the rope is cloth and if the casing of the rope comes back then it's just cloth and it rips very easily so with the kind of rope i'm using uh don't use it because it's bad rope. all right now that you got your thing and you wrapped it around twice need to go down once more All right, this is how it just was you need to go down once more to the bottom and wrap it around bring it around town and then you gotta wrap it through these two bars so they stay together a little bit better I should have done this while I was up there, but do it on the top side. Now it's all starting to fit together. Wrap that around twice, just for good measure. And then... What you're gonna do, the final steps. Bring it down here. Uh, wait, what? Oh, 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 oh. Bring it down here. And then wrap it around this boy. And then bring it back. Oh, shoot. Right. So you have that. Wrapped around that, this part up here, and then you bring it down till they meet. Comes back up, ties around the middle section, ties through the top section, and then you knot it however you want. See what I'm talking about? This stupid cloth stuff. All right, that's what I call good enough. Probably, I don't know. Okay, so final step, if you wanna be a good boy at this, 
I'm taking it off an old cinch sack. Take a tiny piece of string, put it right here, and tie it between these two so it stays stable on this side. Now it's gonna be str you wanna have it tight or just a little bit on the tighter side so it stays taut. And you're gonna have a little bit more balance on your handles. Should look like that on this side. And then that on this side. Now we're all complete. You can do this. Alright, you can do this a few different ways, but either way, it's going to be pretty stable. So, that's how you make a shield. Don't like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And tune in next time when I... I don't even know. Show you how to make more signs or something. Okay, bye.